Well, good morning. Uh, it's uh, Saturday, 13th of February. It's um, I've not looked outside yet, but it's <laughs> it's been a it's been a cold, cold week, hasn't it? And um, I pray that you've um, kept safe, you're keeping well, and I I just want to share with you a um, a short devotion this morning, and uh, I pray that it's a timely devotion for for somebody this morning. Um, just in our reading plan this week, we, we're in the book of Job and the book of Romans. And um, just as I was reading yesterday uh, in Romans 15, a, a verse jumped out at me. So I, I, I wrote it down and it's verse 13 from Romans 15. And the Apostle Paul says, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that verse really stuck out to me. So I started to contemplate it for, for, for a short time and, and really just really start to consider the words. And, and what I noticed is that the Apostle Paul um, gives God this glorious uh, title and attributes to him these, this value of hope the God of hope. And, and in that, we, we, we see that as Christians, uh, we have access to a God of hope, uh, a God of expectation, a God of trust. And here's an important one, a, a, a God of confidence. And and really, it, it's good for us in our, in our prayers to to set ourselves and set our minds on 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 such such titles and, and attributes that we read in the word that 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 ours is a god of hope and uh, i really thought that was a wonderful verse and so we know that god is our hope he is the god of hope he is the foundation of our hope and just as i got on to looking at God being our hope, we, we read in, in the Bible, in, in, in fact, in this same book of Romans, that Paul writes that the very kingdom of God consists of, of, of these things. He says that righteousness, ju righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, that's what the kingdom of God is in Romans chapter 14, verse 17. The very kingdom of God consists on these things, of joy and peace. And something else I noticed as well, as I read about this, this God of hope, Paul writes that he will fill you with joy and peace in believing. And we see that, that the hope of God fills our lives it fulfills our lives. It, it makes us complete. It makes us, uh, the word is satisfied. And we can be filled to satisfaction with, with the joy and peace that, that God gives to us. The joy is the gladness. It's the delight in, in, in him. The peace is the quietness and the rest that we, that we have because we know that, that our sins are, are, are forgiven. And really, it, what is the secret of our faith? That's what I, was, I wrote down last night. What is the secret of our faith? What is it? How is it explained? Well, I came to a, a verse in, in Peter that, that, that spells it out for us perfectly. And I want to leave you with, with that verse uh, this Saturday morning. When Peter wrote this, uh, when Peter wrote his letters to the, the churches in Asia Minor, he wrote this in, in, in his first letter, verse 8. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you, you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with inexpressible and glorious joy. What a great verse that is and, and how we can identify uh, with those words. That though we've not seen him, we love him. And though we, we, we do not see him now, 
We believe in him and we are filled with inexpressible and a glorious joy. And may this be our, our testimony this day. May this be true of, of you and me. And, I, and really, I, I just pray that you'd know that the, the joy and, and the peace of, of Jesus Christ in your life today. And um, I, I've not done this for a while, but I've left a link um, in, the, in the description part of this video. Maybe you can click there and just worship for 10 minutes. Uh, to to the song Blessed Assurance, which uh, which is a, a great classic, a classical worship song. Well, God bless you guys, and have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful Saturday, and have a wonderful weekend. And uh, we'll see you soon.